The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 6th, the marvelous Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can always send me an email. You send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a sea of green out there. You got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 87 points, a quarter percent, nearly six tenths for the S&P, or 31 points. Same for the S uh, Nasdaq. That's 100 points, a little over one percent for the Russell. 22 there, 66 points for the semis, one and four tenths percent. Trend is up 29 uh, points. Uh, Gold is up 21 bucks. Silver's up 78 cents. Lights Recruit is up 46 pennies. Natural gas is up nearly 8 cents. 30 year treasury is basically flat. Trained out at 115 and a quarter. Our winners are in big chicken dinners. Go to MicroStrategy of 57 bucks, nearly 5%. Mercado Libre is uh, drafting slightly behind at 54 bucks. That's a 3% move. And Viddy up 26 bucks, 3% there. Perficient is up 52 bucks. Very efficient there. They're up 25 buckaroonies. 52%, I should say. Super Micro up 21 bucks, nearly a 3% move. And to the downside, it is I Point Pharmaceuticals down 7 bucks or 39%. Motorola Solutions down 7 bucks or 2%. Workday, $6 and change off 2.5%. Moderna down 5 bucks, a 4% move there. And uh, Janix Therapeutics off 8%. That's a $5 move to the downside. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Only a couple requests right now, so please get those requests in. But let's go take a look at what transpired last week on Friday. And to do that, we'll go take a look at those index ETFs. Each of you have access to this, so you'll be able to see the patterns that each of them set up confirmed with volume. And that's an A to B equals CD pattern. If you take a look at the SPY out here, the SPY on Friday did volume of 72 million shares. That was going against 46 million shares at the 51075 level. This has an A to B equals CD that's confirmed to the upside. That gives you initial price projection of 52103. We can see that price is well along that left side of that C to D leg. This could be turned into more than a one to one. We could actually get to new all time highs out there. But the one to one level gets us up to the 52103 area. In the case of the Qs. The Qs passed their B point on Friday. They did volume of 48 million shares. That took out a swing point with 30 million shares. It's one to one price projection, 441.32. And above that would get us back to its Rosemont indicator topper, the 1.272 expansion in the 446 level. We take a look at the Dow Diamonds. The Dow Diamonds did not generate an A to B equals CD pattern. Its retracement, as an example, on the trading session of April 25th came almost all the way back to that low. So that's really not a valid, that's more of a consolidation pattern. Well, if we take a look at what took place on Friday, guess what? 
Price closed above the consolidation. That sets up a consolidation measured move that could take us up towards that 0.786 retracement area in the 394 level. And finally, if we take a look at the IWM, it passed its B point on Friday. It did it with volume of uh, 31 million shares, and it was going against a swing point that had 20 million shares. Your A to B equals CD pattern on the upside will take us to 206.56 and 1.272 expansion up to 209.70. So all that looks good and well, doesn't it? It most certainly does. But sometimes Stevie has some bad news. Well, first we'll get to the other good news. The number one sector inside the S&P 500 is the technology sector, the XLK. It passed its swing point on Friday. It did it with 6.6 .6 million shares. That swing point had 5 million shares. It has already attained the one-to-one -one price projection level. Its next move would be up to the 205.99 area. If you take a look at the weekly chart, quite frankly, for the XLK, it passed its B point back in December of 2023. It did that with volume of 57 million shares, and that was taking out a swing point that had 44 million shares. Now, the larger A to B equals CD pattern gets us up to the 228 level. I'm not saying it's going to make that move just yet, but it certainly should make that move to the 205.99 area. So where's the bad news, Stevie? Well, the bad news is what the equity markets or these index ETFs really need is they really need confirmation by the equal weighted partners. And if we take a look at the RSP, that's the equal weighted ETF for the S&P 500, you can see that its swing point was not passed on Friday. It's being tested today as we speak. That level's at 163.69. We're trading at 163.54. The volume on that swing point is 3.8 million shares. We've been trading for almost two hours. We have done volume of 1.7 million. So 1.7. So this is actually moving higher. It would appear with volume. And if in fact you get a close on the RSP, I'd suggest that you put this down on your sheet of paper and you see where the close is at, and you certainly check on the volume. But if it is more than 3.8 million shares, you get a close above 163.69. The equal weighted ETF will be confirming what we just took a look at in the weighted version. Now you've got one more to take a look at. That's the QQEW. It also did not pass that B point on. On Friday, that is being tested on Friday. The volume inside the uh, QQEW was 63,000 shares. It was going against 154,000 shares. Uh, geez, that 154,000 shares is still the number of shares that it needs to close above uh, 119.55 with to confirm an A to B equals CD pattern the upside. So what do we do now that we don't have Doble Gi confirmation? <laughs> Right now, we're going to stick with what price is doing. We go take a look at the equity future contracts, which we will do to see what they're suggesting. But if we take a look at their daily time frames out here, we take a look at the daily time frame out, you're going to see confirmed A to B equals CD patterns, in this case, for all four. Remember, in the ETF for the uh, Dow, the DIA, that had pulled back too far to generate an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. But not the case with the Dow equity future contract. Its initial price projection, she could accept a 39.204 for the ESM you're looking at 52.27 for the NQ you're looking at 18.222 but again in the NQ's case it is testing profile resistance right now that resistance is at the 18.089 level if you close above that that 18.222 is almost certain if we take a look at the Dow uh, I mentioned that it's A to B equals CD pattern the upside 39.204 and in the case of the uh, Russell 2000 it's going to go target that 20.89 level and perhaps higher than that 21.21 could be its next price target Market area. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the index ETFs, what they did on Friday, what's going on inside of the equity future contracts for their daily time frame. And the only real holdout here are those equal weighted ETFs, but we should pay attention to those. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's get to some requests that have uh, come in, and so we don't get too far behind. The first one coming in from Alton this morning, and Alton would like to take a look at RTX out here. So we take a look at this instrument. What we see is a momentum indicator top that uh, over the last four or five days has led to a consolidation uh, with inside its profiles, Alton. On Friday, the bottom of that profile or support was tested. That's down at 100.68. And maybe it's going to be the top of that profile that gets tested uh, this week, and that's at 102.29. So just a good old fashion, good old fashioned consolidation there. If you take a look at the weekly time frame, it's got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's triggered this week. That needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. You have a consolidation with inside its profile. It has a buy zone at nine between 98.11 and 99.56, and resistance up at 103.89. And finally, we take a look at the monthly time frame chart. Price looks like it wants to go target its breakdown level. That's at 10491. So consolidation daily, consolidation weekly. If you can take out the 10389 level, you should be on your way to 10491. So Alton, hope that helps you out. As always, thanks so much for your request. David H. Wants to take a look at ASML. So Asmil Holdings out here. He's got the 920 calls that expire this Friday. And it looks like price is going to get up to 922.16. David, at 922.16, you've got the daily profile resistance level. If price can overtake that level, and, and how would you know if it's going to? Well, one idea would be price would be coming into that area with more than 865,000 shares. That's when price was last up there. That was on April the 26th on Friday. This thing moved higher with a million shares today so far in two hours of trading or just below it, 156th 
thousand. So 156 is coming in light volume, but it does look like 922 is where price should head to. Why do we say that? Well, one, because price is trading above the top of its weekly profile. And as long as price remains above 90678, that likely outcome of 922 is what we'd be taking a look at. What I don't know is whether price will be able to take out that resistance level. Now, on a 65-minute time frame, just happens that on this set of charts up here, I've got a 65-minute chart out there. We can see that a TD9 count top completed here at 10 35 so almost an hour ago if price can close above this high and this high would be 9 13 67 and it would we'd be looking for a close above that at 11 40 uh, that would signal this pattern has uh, been negated and that price should continue to move higher so that's what i see david h and i appreciate the request as always and hope you have a marvelous monday ron inside the tiger's den would like to take a look at the gold contract i should have done this uh, beforehand he's looking for the intraday charts out there so let's get those up on our screen out here it's going to take a moment for these charts to populate and uh, I hope everybody had a, a great uh, weekend out there. It's uh, just beautiful weather down here. I actually got out and tried to play a game of golf. I've got a real bad back problem going in for an injection tomorrow. But was feeling okay yesterday. I said, you know, I want to go hit some balls. And then after I hit some balls, I said, well, I want to hit some more balls. And everything seemed pretty good until this morning. But uh, it was nice to definitely nice to get outside. All right. So to the short-term time frame charts. And when we say short-term, if we take a look at a 10-minute time frame out here, uh, what do we see? We see a Rhodes Mintum indicator top and price trading with inside its new profile. So I would say from a short term standpoint, if price can hold 23.2880, then you should see a rally up to 23.33 and the price can get above that 23.37. Now that's ultra short term, but I don't know what you mean by intraday and what type of style trading it is that you're doing. If we take a look at a 15 minute time frame chart out here, I've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top price trading with inside its profile right now. 23.24 is the support there. We said we got a 2320. We got the bottom of, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the 2328 level of the 10 minute chart. Rhodes Mintum indicator top out here, Ron, uh, inside of uh, the 30 minute time frame. Now, price is back inside his profile below its oscillator and change line. Uh, this has a new profile as well. Its support area is at 2326. So you got 2328. 2326, you got 2324, just to give you an idea for where support is at. And right now on a 60 minute time frame, what we don't have is any kind of a topping pattern. Maybe there's a sell the D point out there. Let me just open up this chart and see. And I don't see a sell the D point pattern either. I just see a sideways consolidation. But if price can remain above 2328, um, you know, that would be short term bullish, but it's supported at 2323. So you've got a really good idea of where the support level is at the two hour chart has a confirmed TD nine count top that suggests price should pull back to around 2320 there we go that 2320 area again that's the only time frame that I see a top four other than the ones that we've discussed which are on the 10 and the 15 and the 30 minute time frame chart so your question was which way is gold gonna head um, right now with these tops I think I would uh, take a look at the 30 minute time frame chart and uh, uh, wait for price to at least get back to that 2326 level out there. So that's what I see, Rod, when I take a look at uh, Goldilocks on a daily time frame out here. Price is back inside its profile. Um, if it could close above 2343, that would be suggesting to move up to the 2366-ish type area out there. Let's move on to uh, BOTZ. This is for Duncan Steve inside the Tiger's Den. I guess this is a uh, – oops, that's the wrong chart um, – Let's get over to this chart here. BOTC. So I guess this is a, um, what do they call that? Artificial intelligence. I don't know about you folks, but I prefer real intelligence, not artificial intelligence. But if we do take a look at the ticker symbol BOTZ, I believe this is an ETF. What this is doing today, Duncan, is it's confirming or is completing a TD9 count top. Now, the cool thing about that, uh, you should expect or anticipate a retracement back to support. The first level of support right now in the daily time frame, in lieu of any new profile that would form after this moment in time, is down at about $30.11 out there. So you should see a pullback there. If we're going to see a pullback, we'd go take Look at those intraday time frames. Take a look at signals there. On a weekly time frame, this had a TD9 count top, took price back to the support of its 
of its uh, profile at the 2907 level. That has held, and now price is running right into weekly resistance. That's its oscillator and change line. So that suggests that it's also perhaps getting ready to make a retracement. Well, if it's going to make a retracement, again, we should see those signals on the intraday time periods. Let's start with a 30-minute chart out here. And on a 30-minute chart, you've got a TD9 count top. Now, the cool thing about this, as well as that daily time frame, is if you do see a close above the high today, whatever that is, right now, that's at 31.31, that negates the TD. Now, you'd see that tomorrow. I'm sorry, tomorrow, because today's going to complete that pattern. But here on a 30-minute time frame, if price takes that level out, you're going to get to higher price. Short of that, price right now should pull back to test support. Uh, first level of support will be 31.18. Profiles are well below where we're trading at. The next area of support would be at 30.84 if 31.18-ish area fails. That's, oops, that's a 30-minute chart. Let's go take one more step up and take a look at that 65-minute time frame. See if there's any signals here. And again, what we're looking for, folks, if you're going to make a top on a daily time frame, you should start seeing and if that top's going to be confirmed, meaning we're not going to, the pattern's not going to negate itself out there, you should see some topping signals on the intraday. And guess what? We take a look at bots. It's got a TD9 count top that completed. It completed at uh, 1035. So watch that high. Again, that's at the uh, 3131 level. Price closes above that. This next candle, by the way, would be 1140. That would suggest at least intraday that moves higher out there but you do have those topping signals on the intraday time period so i'd monitor those out there when it comes to botz an artificial intelligence i don't know about the intelligence piece of it an artificial something etf we'll be right back Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so there was a question. I think it was a question. I just want to. Uh, it was from uh, Frank inside the Tigers. And he posted something. Time to short. So Frank, I don't know if you heard the opening of the uh, show, but you've got confirmed in the equity ETFs out here. That's the spies, the uh, Qs, uh, the Dow Diamonds, and the uh, IWM. Well, it's really three of them: the spy, the uh, Qs, and the Dow, uh, the IWM that have confirmed A to B equals C dependency upside. That says you really should go ahead and let those complete. How do you know if they're completed? It's not because they've attained the one to one level. It's because you then get the bears that show up and say, "Okay, I'm ready to defend my position," and they'll do that by forming a bearish reversal candle. If you were talking intraday and you're looking at some short-term time frame charts, that's a whole different thing. But for those people that are day traders or have the uh, thought process of trying to go short, I would wait for these patterns uh, to complete. And I would focus in on those equal weighted to see if they confirm the uh, move uh, by today's close. Now let's go take our next request out. This hope that helps to answer your question out there. I just wanted to touch on that briefly. Let's go take a look at Alta Salons out here. And this is going to be for uh, SatP. And SatP is looking for... Or I'd like to buy a few shares to enter into this. And so you've got wave number seven, you've got bar number eight, and uh, what you don't have is a road momentum indicator bottom. So this says you could get a short-term top that would form between today and Wednesday. Is that top today? You're not helping me out a whole lot, Stevie. Well, if I look at the weekly time frame chart, this is forming bar number eight. This says you could get a bottoming pattern between today and the next two weeks. So I've just made that matter worse. And now on a monthly time frame, price is trading into its buy zone between the 386, 88 level and 405.74. So I'm going to suggest you let this trade for the next couple of days, see what happens on the daily time frame with regard to a TD9 count bottom. Um, and uh, uh, and I would say if you're looking to if you're really being aggressive here, I'd say that 386, 88 ish area looks like is a potential spot. If we look at a 30 minute spot to take on a few shares, if we take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart. We're not seeing any kind of a bottom signal here. We change the 30 to the 65. See what we've got on that. Uh, we don't have any kind of a bottom signal there. So it does look like, to me, what Alta wants to do, Sat, is continue to move lower out here. And I'd be patient, but I'd be watching that 386, 88-ish level out there. You also wanted to take a look at tick symbol M-A-R-A. -A. In that case, you were just really interested, in a, I believe, in its short-term signals. But as long as I've got it up on my screen out here, the daily time frame is potentially forming an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. Uh, if it can take out the swing point from April 24th, that high is at 2004 the volume there was 45 million shares so far today this has done 40 million shares so mara looks like it wants to form an a to b equals cd pattern the upside let's get an approximate price objective of that uh so we'll, and then when i say a uh, uh, approximate. I'm referring to the initial price projection level, and the one-to-one -one would take it take it above its TD9 count breakdown area. It actually gets back into the gap. So this thing had gapped down on April 2nd with 35 million shares. But geez, you're already up into it today with 20 million shares, 40 million shares. Jeez. So this gap is certainly going to be closed or should be closed out there, and price should at least get up to that level. That level being 2107. But uh, the A to B equals CD pattern. The one-to-one -one takes us to about the 2130. 36 area out there. Uh, you've got 2103 is a resistance point on the weekly time frame chart. Um, I don't see a resistance level to be uh, paying attention to right now on a monthly chart out there. Of course, you wanted the short-term signals, but you needed to understand the larger signals first. Those larger signals are suggesting higher price. Now, if we look at a 65-minute time frame chart for tomorrow, what do we have? We've got um, price taking out a TD9 count top and a Rhodes momentum indicator top. And on a 65-minute bar, 
It was 16 million shares, and the current bar, and this doesn't close until 11.40, so about six more minutes from now, 16 million. So 16 million going against 15 million. That's taking it out. It looks like you've got a new A to B equals CD pattern to the upside for its 65-minute time frame out there. So I hope that helped out with regard to the short-term signals and the long-term signals. They're just simply suggesting higher price. GTE would like to take a look at FXI. So let's pull up those charts out there. The problem with taking a look at FXI, you got a lot of currency conversion going on here. So you got a bunch of gaps. It's really hard to track. But what we can share is that uh, on Thursday, price negated a TD9 count top. So the daily time frame suggests to Stevie that it wants to trade higher. The weekly time frame last week took out its TD9 count breakdown area at 2609. That suggests it wants to trade higher. Well, Stevie, trade higher to where I'm going to fall back to the monthly time frame and we'll go take a look at the center of that profile. And that's where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value between 2506 and 3343. And that level is 2925. So it looks to me like FXI wants to make a move towards that 2925 level. As always, thank you for that request. John C. Inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at Micron. Ticker symbol there is MU. Moo. We take a look at Moo. Right now it's trading about Above profile and it is trading above its green oscillator and change line. What that means, John, is that you have a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are just simply flat out bullish conditions, period. And if you take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern, it's got a B point out here. It's labeled number C on my chart because that's part of the Chapman Wave tools out there. But it's got a B point of an A to B equals CD that's up at the 11628 area. And that had 14 million shares. So far today, Micron has done nearly 11 and a half million shares. You're going to get a confirmed A to B equals CD without even drawing that pattern in. You can do that yourself, John. It looks to me like price wants to target that breakdown level on a daily time frame at 125.99. Weekly chart, you're trading about profile and screen oscillator and change line. It's giving you the go sign. And the same thing is true with regard to the monthly time frame. So we take a look at Micron out there, MU. It simply is saying higher price, please. Let's go take a look at TGB. This is for Dan from from New York City out there. Do I have this chart up yet? Ah, we do. That's a beautiful thing. So we take a look at Taseco Mines out here. We've got a Rosemont Dominicator top that has led to a consolidation with inside his profile. So what we know, Danny, is that from 235, that's support, to 262, that's your consolidation zone. If you look at the weekly time frame chart, what do we have out here? We've got a TD9 count top that is still in place with a, uh, with a, a wave number seven pattern potentially in place out there. Uh, so you've got a top and you have a consolidation with inside its profile as well. If price was an example was to close above $2.35, that would then tell us that price should go target 220. And 220 is the bottom of that daily profile. Resistance here on the weekly time frame is up at the 270 level. On a monthly time frame, I don't see any kind of a topping signal. So you've just got the tops on the daily and the weekly. Both of those have led to a consolidation. There's nothing to suggest that anything different than that at this point in time when it comes to ticker symbol T G B we come back from this break which we'll be going to shortly I don't think I have these charts populated here so that's why I said we get back from this break out there we're going to take the ticker symbol B Y O N we're going to do that for Jimmy D we're going to take the ticker symbol, ticker symbol R E A L then we're going to take a look at RBRK for Duncan Steve, BKNG for Mohammed, and an NIO for GTE is questions what happens after a TD9 can the up move reserve? Oh, then we got Qualcomm out there as well. And then uh, Dan, let's take a look at SHAK. Is that Shake Shack? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. 
Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a trick somebody, B-Y-O-N. This is for Jimmy D inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And uh, B-Y-O-N, let me get that up here. Uh, to, to hold on a second. Hold on a second here. I apologize, folks. We'll come back to uh, Beyond Inc. Uh, as soon as we uh, go out to Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? Excellent. Thanks so much for asking. And it's ticker symbol BCRX that you're taking a look at. I'm assuming this is some kind of pharma. Uh, type of uh, stock out there trading out at 524 today looks uh, very nice today uh, tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you well I did send you an email last week and it, I think you caught it right at the end of one year show that was probably Wednesday or Thursday okay um, and you had gone over it just you know you didn't have a lot of time to, to you know go over it too much but um, I bought it because of some TD9 counts and then it just yes. some bottoming patterns that I liked and I just wanted to get your thoughts on it now. Well, love today's activity because it's taking out that TD9 count breakdown resistance level on its daily time frame. And that was at 479. And so that suggests that its next price target should be about 602. Now, there's a swing point, a daily swing point that is traded into uh, so far this morning. That's the one from March 21st. It was a bear shooting star. So it does set up a little bit of resistance, Brent, at the top of that candle, which is up at 587. But what I want to take a look at is what's the volume on that candle says not swing point. It's got 2.7 million shares so far today, 5 million shares. So as long as price closes inside that candle, and that to do that, it needs to close about 545. Yeah, 545. It closes about 545 today. Um, that says that uh, it should go at least test that high. And then I say it probably gets back to that breakout level of 602. What happens if it closes below that swing point, Stevie? That's a great question. Below 545. It says price will be back up to at least the 545 level uh, to retest that. As you move into a swing point with volume, if you close below it, you reject it, you're going to be back. You should be able to get back up there. So that's a daily time frame. Brent, before I move to the weekly, any, any questions about those uh, uh, those, those observations so far? 
I'm just looking at the daily. It does look like there might have been enough of a retracement after that initial move up. I guess it was about a one, two, three, four, five days up, or at least up to that point, and then a retracement, and now this big day up today. Is that? I think there's enough there for an AB equals CD, but you can take a look at it and see. Yeah, you know, it's 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 a uh, it it certainly is a possibility. Um, if we just take a look at the, that move out here. We go from that TD nine count bottom. We go all the way up to that swing point, really, that we're taking a look at from May the first out there, May Day. And I just simply, after that high, go down to the lowest low. It looks like it was the following trading session out there on May the second. We're beyond the one to one level. So all that really says to me is, uh, you know, if you were to get a bearish reversal candle, that could then confirm a Gartley sell pattern. But we don't really have to worry about that as we speak today. Today you've got a gap. To the upside, it's taking out resistance. It's trading into a swing point with volume. It's got everything that you want to suggest that it wants to move higher. Uh, let's take a quick peek here, uh, Brent, at the weekly time frame, which uh, is going to complete a TD9 count uh, pattern this week. Doesn't matter what it does because bar number nine completed last week and bar number eight was the low of the past uh, low of the uh, pattern. Last week, Last week also confirmed a Roadsman to indicator bottom. So beautiful patterns out here that got you into this trade. And right now, price is getting back inside its weekly profile. And if it can close above 521 today, it should make that move up to towards 578 to 587. Now, this is a slightly bearish structured weekly profile, Brent. And so if this is only a counter trend move, price should find resistance at that 578 to 587 level out there. I'm not saying that it's a counter trend move. I'm saying if it is just a counter trend move, that's where you would expect to find resistance. And on the monthly time frame out there, um, it looks to me like there's an A to B equal CD pattern. It's still too early in the month to know whether we'll get a bullish reversal candle or not. Uh, price right now is trading above the bottom of that monthly profile. That's what's really most important right now. And the bottom of that profile is down at 525. So if it can stay above that, it supports the idea on the daily and the weekly that price should make that move higher. And again, our price targets are around 578. 587, and if you can clear 587, you get up to 602. So uh, how, how about additional questions on the weekly or the monthly chart? Or if you've got something on the daily, I'm happy to go back there, too. No, I think that's it, Steve. I, You know, some of these work out okay. I, I was in STEM the other day, and it, they kind of laid an egg on their earnings. But, you know, that's why I really try to make an effort to catch things as, at the low, if I, you know, as close to it as possible. And, and sure. in that case, it didn't really... You know, caused many problems because I was able to get out and still make some money, and and I'm not what it was the previous day, but that's fine. And then this one happened to be just the opposite of that, where yeah, the earnings were good enough that it's gone the other way. So you just you never know. But that's the, the my point is it's definitely <laughs> worth at least trying to catch the bottom as close as you can just to give yourself absolutely. a cushion. Yeah, absolutely. And you did that, and it's and it's great. And uh, you know, you're a marker right now that suggests that it also wants to trade higher out there. And, you know, so just take things uh, one step at a time. But uh, nice, nice uh, find out here, nice step out there. It does look like lower price. So is there anything else that I can do for you? I think that's it. You just have yourself a great day, Steve. Thanks, thanks I will. so much for your help. You bet. My pleasure. That was Brent in Martinez, California. And as always, I appreciate all the calls and all the requests from each of you. It just makes the show go so much easier. It doesn't matter whether it's inside the Tiger's Den or emails or calls. I love it all. So we're going to go back to Beyond Inc. out here. B-Y-O-N. This is for Jimmy D. And we take a look at Beyond. On a daily time frame, last Friday, this confirmed a Roach Mintum indicator bottom. It did that because price gapped up. So that's a bullish reversal candle. What it also did, though, is it ran right up into those sellers. Those sellers are still there today. Today, and they're at the top of its profile, and that's at 22.39. So what you're looking for, if you are long beyond, what you want to do is you want to see a close above that level. What happens if we get a close above that level? That should take us to the next area of resistance, which on this chart would be up at 27.24. When I say this chart, I was referring to the daily time frame. Now, if price is really going to do that, so when you get up to resistance, which right now this has, that's the top of the daily profile, we know that. If we take a look at what's going on in a short-term time frame, well, we have a 65-minute chart. That's 65 minute chart has a completed TD nine count top. Now, what price has not done is busted through support, and support would be down at 21. 44 out there. If price did bust through support, that would get us back to 2010. But what you want to watch is the upside, and that is if price can close above 
2265 on a 65 minute time frame that's going to suggest higher price with 2384 being its price target to the upside so you do have a short term topping signal as price got into that daily resistance zone that says that you know it's not likely to clear that level today the weekly time frame chart is just simply pulled back towards an area of support um uh, 1889 count breakout area and on the monthly time frame it's trading into its buy zone and that buy zone ranges from 1845 to 2125 out there so let's uh, bring it on home with regard to beyond you got a beautiful daily roadsman indicator bottom with price finding resistance at the top of its daily profile so it hasn't proven itself to us that it's going to go ahead and take that level out and trade higher up to 2724 out there but you do have a bottom i don't see a bottom on the weekly or the monthly but you can be a bottom on the monthly with price trading into its buy zone out there so jimmy d i hope that helps you out with regard to byon we come back from this break, we'll uh, go ahead and queue up real. I'll try to be real fast as we go through this next set out there. And if we don't go get into everything, and I don't know that we will, we'll certainly come back to these instruments tomorrow. See you, Broads, with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at your symbol, R-E-A-L. This is for Jimmy D. So, Jimmy, looks like uh, this might negate a, a TD9 count top and a Roach Mintum indicator top. All it needs to do today is close above uh, 409. You're at 419. 
Um, if it can do that, it should continue to move higher out there. Uh, it still has a Rogeman Dominicator signal that's been triggered, but that would need a new bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. The weekly time frame shows that price is trading above profile resistance at 410. If it can maintain and stay above that level, that adds the idea of a further rally. On a uh, monthly time frame, I don't see price, I don't see any resistance. Uh, price is trading above resistance. So everything is looking pretty darn good for ticker symbol R E A L. Duncan Steve. Steve, want to take a look at ticker symbol RBRK. I believe this is an instrument you said that uh, Microsoft just purchased. Really? I mean, it's only been trading for um, uh, since April 25th. I don't have a lot of data out here to really provide you a ton of information. Here's a 30-minute chart as an example. This is all the data. I, I just don't have much on this to, uh, to do much for you. So my apology there. Uh, just not enough trading data to provide any kind of technical analysis that's going to be anything with that's meaningful, other than maybe go to a five-minute chart out there. But let's move on beyond that. Let's go take a look at BKNG. So we take a look at BKNG. This found resistance on Friday at a TD9 count breakdown level. Well, that's at the 26 9, 26 uh, 36 98 30 level. And now couldn't bust through it. Now price is pulling back to test support. Well, the first level of support is already held. That's the top of its daily profile. And as long as price remains above 3530, maybe we're just setting up a pretty small consolidation between those levels. But if price did close below 3530, 3498 would be next, 3480 could be next after that, and then 3430. That's coming from the daily time frame. If we look at the uh, weekly, a consolidation with inside its profile, support at 3450, resists at 3710, TD9 account top on the monthly, but price found support at its oscillator and change line, and therefore its overall signal is neutral. So BKNG, uh, that's what we've got on it when we uh, start the show tomorrow or after the first segment we'll take a look at uh, nio qualcomm s-h-a-k o o-h-i and all the other requests that come in folks thanks so much for making today so pleasant and uh, hopefully you have a, a magical marvelous monday and i'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m sharp take care and have a great day <laughs>